Good morning, y'all. Enjoy your lurk. G get your sewing done. Good morning, Bruce. Good morning to Mickey Winter Vlad. Inkwell Monster. It's cool and raining. I have a hot cup of tea. My electric blanket. Cozy vibes. That's too cozy for this morning. I, I guess I'm tired of the rain here. It's been raining here for like four days straight. I think we're finally done. We are going to get some cool, some cool weather, though. Class 20 months of subbing. Tony 31 months of subbing. Y'all are awesome. Good morning. Good morning. Hello from Ireland. Nice. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. ATL in the house. How we doing, everyone? How we doing? You gonna have the SoCal SoCal drought? I'll take your rain. Yeah, I shouldn't complain about the rain, right? I actually I would prefer the rain than the uh, than the drought. So the other side. You feel like crap? Hope you're not getting sick. We've had the sick running through here. Not bad sick, just. Annoying kids, sick. <laughs> it's raining here. I'm so excited to be in the 60s. Tomorrow was in the 90s last week. Yeah, I think we're not going to get high in the 60s. We're going to get lows in the 50s, though, which is good. Yeah, Tyler went back to school on Monday. He missed two days. He ended up missing. He still was running a fever on Friday. By Saturday, he was better. It's just poof. I, I, I It boggles the mind. Ear infection. Evan getting better. Crazy times, crazy times. It just puts me on edge, right? Like it puts me on edge. I'm on edge about a lot of things this morning. I think we're going to talk about me being on edge this morning. <sighs> Wife come home from Texas finally after 39 days. Good grief. That is tough. That is a tough situation for sure. Hello from New Jersey. I'm new here. Hey, Queen Panda. Welcome. You're among friends. We like pens. We like pens here uh, up in here in this chat. Apple got all my pen money for the rest of the year. Truth. Truth, truth, truth. Um, right now, I'm trying to figure out where this ink came from. Because this happened this morning. I was, whoops, not that. We're going to talk about that in a minute. This ink is still wet on the page. And I don't know if it's because we have a humidity thing going on now. I can still see, like, the glare and the glow of this ink. And that's been there for, like, ten minutes, if not more. And I set down... I set this down on top of it. Beachy pens, 11 months. I did that thing, just so you know. Just so you know, I did that thing. Oh, you're a bullet journaler, that is awesome. Like, we'll talk about journaling sometimes. Like, there's there's like my, my journal we can't see. I should probably, I should probably hide that. This is more of my planning thing. We're gonna talk about that uh, as well. Um, but yes, beachy pens, I did the thing. So we'll see how it goes. You never know. Where's the Parker Golden Reb? We're going to talk about that, Bruce. Hence the show title today. Hence the show title. Killer Sheep, five months of subbing. Good morning, Molly. Schmevelin with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, Schmevelin. You're awesome. You got, you got my email, 048, my very delayed, despite Tony yelling at me several times, email. I hope that made sense. Like, I, I hope, like, I think you're down with it. I think you're down with what I'm saying. So, that's good. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Can you mention the pen in the podcast tomorrow? Maybe it would mean a lot to me. Well, actually, there's a story behind this pen that will come up. Um because Mike bought this pen for me. So there you have it. So let's let's talk about uh, let's talk about this pen real quick cuz that's I didn't have a show I didn't have a stream title for today. These are super cute emotes. I got to get more emotes, Queen Panda. I'm working on that. I need to email Angela. Let me add that to the list. I probably shouldn't have shut this book with all this wet ink on here. Oh, it's not this book. Too many books this morning. Too many books this morning. Mike or Mike, Mike with a Y, Mike with a Y bought this pen for me. This is the story. If you're a longtime pen addict listener, this is the pen that Mike shot ink across the vendor's table with. All right, we need to. So we have we have switched pens for today, um, and I'm kind of all over the place. I'm using the Mayora Impromte, Impromte, and I'm using the uh, the Homo Sapiens Stormtrooper. Um, I need to email Angela.
Got to get those emotes going. All right. I was going to do the challenge with you this week, but both of mine needs one nim done and the other diaphragm is starting to go. Well, Bruce, we're having an issue with my nib as well. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Um, I need probably... All right, <clears throat> let's see what we got here. I don't really have my desk set up for this this morning. We might need, we might need the, we might need the bank pad. I'm gonna show you. So, and I think I did it. So I've used this Golden Web. I don't know. I've inked it up maybe, let's say, let's call it five times, right? So it's not a frequent usage pen for me, Smand. Um, but you know. I like to use it on occasion. Rewizzles, where's your alert? Oh, do I not? Yeah, the alerts are live here. What is up? All right, we'll see if that works. Um, 27 months, Rewizzles. Thank you so much. You are awesome. And awesome things will continue to happen for you. Um, so I've used this. Oh, look at this. There's my ink smudge. Y'all can't see that. I just found where I just smudged all the ink. This is how this stream's gonna go today, chat. I'm very uh, disoriented, in it, ended. Um, I need a paper towel. All right, so I've used this. Um, I've used this Golden Web. I don't know, like I said, maybe five times, right? I used my Sman for travel recently. It was great for holding, organizing my small battery pack, iPhone cable, and AirPods, AirPods for the plane. Oh, I bet it could work on the plane too as a little uh, tray table, a uh, little tray table dude. Your Insta post inspired me to ink one of my vintage pens yesterday. That's good. That's the inspiration. And that's the inspiration behind this pen for this week. But a funny thing happened on the way to the end. Hang on. That's how this day is going to go, chat. So this is the pen Mike, Mike inked up for me. Uh, Mike inked up for me. Mike bought for me at the Atlanta Pen Show several years ago. Rich Sticks. 500 bits, I do not know why we're not alerting this morning. The alert box is turned on. The alerts are in the right position. I have not changed anything. RIP to my alerts. All right, so this is just one of those pens where, okay, I had bought my first couple of vintage pens. I'd bought a, or I had a Parker 61 given to me, which I loved. And then I bought a Parker Vac, a restored one from uh, Martin's Pens at the Atlanta Pen Show. And then I was kind of figuring out, you know, do I want to pick up any other? Why not, Mother? Thank you. <sighs> Reset the cash may help. Okay, I will look at doing that. Because, yeah, that's actually very strange. Because um, I mess up my alerts a lot. And right now it's not messed up. So this is a great pen. It's kind of like got a fine-ish gold nib. It's got the old classic arrow nib design. I don't know if you'll be able to see that really on here. Um, it's just great. It's a great pen. It's it's small, right? I like it. I love the uh, I love the pattern, right? Like this is just like that's what sold me is like this pattern is just really really good like you don't see anything like that good morning nib taylor um we're gonna have to send it to the nib i'm gonna get there bruce settle down settle down bruce so um like i said i've used it plenty of times so i go to ink this pen up on sunday because i'm gonna know i'm gonna use this as my uh planner pen for the week and i choose waterman mysterious blue and because that's kind of the, the ink I use in my vintage pens. It's just, it's an awesome ink. Uh, chat's not showing up on screen. How did this, how did stuff change without me changing anything? I literally haven't touched this stuff. It's almost like it's a new scene and it's not uh, dealing with it well. Whoops. Hmm. Something changed. I don't know what it is. Let 
It would be nice if I could see these things before they actually happened. Do they chat? Do they work here? Hmm. They're not even working on this screen. Are they working on this screen? No. We're going to talk about that in a minute. <sighs> All right. We're just going to have to deal with it today. Something update over the weekend? Who knows? But it's it's messed up this whole entire scene. It's actually messed up this this one too, right? This is the main page. I never change anything on this scene. All right. I'm going to have to work on it after stream. Sorry. Yeah, I can see chat. Um, all right. So I go to ink it up. Ink it up with Waterman. You know, it's got the... Um, Got the vac fill in the Mac. They were working on the first screen. Yeah, but they're not on the first screen anymore, and I didn't even change anything. Yeah. It's uh, Gremlins, I guess. Like, I haven't touched anything on that first screen. I haven't reordered anything. So, who knows. So, you know, it's got the vac system. I'm, uh... And with this, um... With this vac... Well, there was an alert sound... Perio Peeners. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that follow worked. Interesting. It's a lockdown filler. So, yeah, you kind of... I'm not going to do it here because I will shoot ink over the desk like Mike does. So, you twist it open. It comes out and the fill button comes out to about like right here. So, then you dip it in the bottle of the ink and you give it a few presses. And I think when I was pressing it down, I misaligned the tines. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on here, but I've never had a problem with this pen writing. And I think I hit the bottom of the bottle unrealize, not realizing it. And because I started writing with it and it's like, oh yeah, this writes fine. Like, you know, but it felt funny. Like Puck Silver Breeze, thank you for the sub. Where my alerts have gone, I wish I knew. But thank you so much. I'll give you a cheer. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you, Puck. I appreciate that. I wish my alerts were working, but um, this is actually not my, not my fault this time, it seems like. So, wait, is ink leaking a bit out of the slit? No, it's probably just a little, I don't know, just a little ink. Brad, do the thumbnail trick. I've tried. My fingers are probably still like blue from yesterday, and I can't get it realigned. And it's like the left tine is almost overlapping the right tine, right? It is that bad. Um, and I can't, and I've tried to like physically realign it. Um, and I can't quite get there. Let's see if we can get this in here. This is going to be, this is like, this is like me juggling. I don't know that this is actually going to work. All right, you might can see a little bit how the right tine is looks visually like longer. That's because it's almost flipped up over. There you go. It's almost flipped up over the left tine. And I've tried to bend it, and I've tried to bend it. And I've, yeah, I've done all the things that I can do, and it won't snap back. Yeah, I've tried to cross it under. I've tried to do everything with it. So... What I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to clean it out so I can, I'm going to get a little bit more aggressive with it. So, sorry, I know that doesn't come in. Um, side note, don't buy this loop. This is the basic loop. I have a, the, the nice loop um, back in my uh, other office. Um, this loop, does is it's not good. This is the basic loop. Like, I got this from Anderson's, but it's not them. It's, like, not from them. This is, like, the standard cheap loop that all the sites have, and then you find them on Amazon. Get a nice loop. This one is 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 crap. So, anyway, I have, uh, hey, look, the alerts worked. I didn't touch a thing, chat. Look at that. Paper Cat Lady, 22 months of subbing. Let's go. Let's go. Brad, did you see why Brad was trending on Twitter yesterday? I did not. So maybe the feed needs resetting? Yeah, I don't know. But there's something up with this. And um, Coach Albino, 15 months of subbing. Thank you so much. Everything seems to be working now. I noticed the volume on the alerts has changed too. So <laughs> 
the alert volume, at least on my side, is quieter. I don't know how it works for y'all. Is there another pin you can sub it out for? Probably. Like, I almost went and got my, um, my, um, hang on, my, um, Tucky that I like, um, my Schaefer Tuck Away with the extra, extra, extra fine firm nib. Um, but I figured I would just go ahead with this one, try to fix it instead of swapping out another pen. So it writes, but it's messed up. Um, it's such a cool nib. So, you know, I'll mess with it some more. Bellemo, is this the one that I have? Yeah, that's the one I have. So this link in the show notes, this is the one that I have. It's like 30 bucks. Yeah. Like when I bought it, it was around 30. So it's 35 bucks. This one, it's worth the extra money to upgrade to this loop over one of like the the ten dollar ones like this is. The the lens and the glass is so far superior, like not even close. So yeah, this is the loop I have out um, in the office when I'm assembling pens for spoke. This one. I, if this was the only loop I had, I would have thrown it away by now because N gotten another one. So there you go. Yes, that's the loop you want. All right, so yeah, like I've, I've tried like manually manipulating this, like trying to get it to go in the right places and it's just really not working that well for me. So we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to re rethink what we're doing here with this pen. So there you go. So that is, hey, good morning, Miss G's. That is my attempt at vintage pens this week. Yeah, like I just crossed the nibs and it's completely back to where it was before. Like, so I'm gonna have to get way more aggressive with this sometimes. So like, I literally, I don't know if you just saw me, I pushed the left tine underneath the right tine kind of, uh, kind of crossed them a little bit, a little bump, and then it just snapped right back to the, the bad position. So, such is the life of vintage pens. Take the nib out. Yeah, I'm not going to do that right now while it's inked up, and we'll, I'll just end up making a mess. So, it's fine for this week. I'm going to clean it out, and um, we'll, we'll, we'll go again sometimes. But this is what you're, this is what you're looking at when you deal with vintage pens, you have to accept the fact that sometimes it's going to be a little bit finicky, right? And that was the point of, of showing you this today. Um, you know, not because like the, the, we had a vintage pen, we made the choice to use a vintage pen this week for the planner and it failed. Like that's part of the deal <laughs> with vintage pens, right? Like part, part of the deal with vintage pens is, they're a little bit extra work required. So you got to think about that. That's why they're not for everyone. Everlasting Noob, thank you for the follow. Magic alerts. Look at this. Even the chat's working on the screen now. And yes, I didn't touch anything. So how, what is happening? What is happening right now? I wish I could tell y'all. Slobs is inferior to OBS. I keep threatening to switch. I need to put in the time to to look into that um, O4A. I, 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 re I really should. Like, I'm at the point where I just need to spend some time and, and cut over. It wouldn't affect anything, really, but, um, but my time to set it up and get it right. So, yeah. So, yeah, there you go. How long have you had this pen? Probably three years. Probably about three years. So... <laughs> So there you go. All right. So that is my vintage pen experience for the week. That's why my Parker vac is whack. So what you're saying is it's never going to happen. Um, the odds are probably somewhere around 37% that it happens. I, It's not higher than that. You know it's not going to happen for a fact. <laughs> I'll, I will cop to that. <laughs> connect. Thank you for the follow. Man, I got that first shot. Boom. Connect. All right, so my Parker vac is whack, and I will fix it. Like it seems easy enough that I can fix. If not, I'll I'll let someone else fix it. 
down the line. Your predictability brings me great joy. Um, did you not predict I was going to pick the Zebra Sarasa clip over the Uniball Signo RT1? Let's get a poll in the chat. One of the mods, including the mod in question. Let's get a poll in the chat. One gel pen choice. It's either the Zebra Sarasa clip or the Uniball Signo RT1. What is your choice? Let's get a poll up in chat while we hit our next topic here in just a second. Let's get a poll. Signo all the way. We're just going to ban you, Bruce. You're going to be banned. Just kidding. To be fair, the RT1 body is kind of trash. That plays into it. That played into the decision-making process. Alt Phantom, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. I would do the poll, but I missed the options. Uni, Uniball, Signo, RT1, or Zebra Sarasa Clip. <laughs> Swapped it into an RT barrel. Yeah. <clears throat> Signo refills are awesome. I think the I think the Sarasa clip for those type for that build of a retractable gel ink pen, I think the Sarasa clip is is good to go. Why is Brad frozen face on your phone? Because it's your phone. Zebra, but really inner gel. Yeah, so the the inner gel doesn't compete there for me because they don't have the availability of the 0.4 um and they don't have um the narrower barrel in that style right those inner gels are such a big barrel and while they're awesome they might be the best gel ink pen on the market um you're pretty much stuck at 0.7 and unless you do some some real work to put it in i'm gonna get those 0.38s that everyone's sending me so Energel's doing a stock black 0.38 um, that have started to to come out um, to come out there. So I like the RT1 refill, but the body is meh. The the worst part about the Sarasa is all gel ink pens run out of ink quickly. The Sarasa is the worst culprit of them all. Current poll, which one? Unisigno RT1 or Zebra Sarasa Clip. So the um, the poll is up. Go vote. I figure it's going to be close. It's shaking out close. We only got 10 votes in so far. I did order the brunch flares. I don't know why, but I want to smell them. That's awesome. I swap, I got to try the permanent Intergel refills too. Caved and bought Uniball Signo pens to use in my Hobonichi. The Intergel is too juicy. Yeah. Like, there's no doubt that the Uni, that the Intergel is great. I will stand up for the inner gel all day long you are very restricted in sizes for that by design by design i mean they mess around with it uh they mess around with it a little bit but uh yeah i saw the brunch flares at sam's club on sunday i mean it's called sunday brunch i don't know how you left without them <laughs> Never tried those gel options. These are really for the these these are really the best in the sub five millimeter category, right? These are like your point fours, point three eights, point threes, point two eights. These these two pins fall into that category. If you're gonna start talking about point fives and point sevens, I'm not putting either of these in the conversation, right? So yeah, this isn't this is a very specific poll between two pins that I think are the really um are really close in style design features compared to like your inner gels and your g2s and, and things like that got to sell some pins to get an ultim I think you'll like the ultim I think it's a really cool pin uniball one is better than both of those options that is factually incorrect Chauncey coat coats worth minus one point for you all right, so yeah, this is like 50-50 type of thing so far, which doesn't surprise me. So um, I wrote a thing where I, I chose the Sarasa clip over the uh, RT1 for members this weekend, and I got some grief from a uh, certain Tony in chat. So yeah, there you go. Needle chip, needle tip Intergel 03 is pretty darn good too. Oh, I'm a huge fan of the Intergel Euro needle 
no one can get them, right? Me and you can go to jet pens and find the one particular inner gel, and that's it, <laughs> right? <laughs> if that pen just, you know, replicated throughout Pentel's lineup and had availability, it would be number one. It comes in the retractable standard body. They can get them from Amazon. I think those just started popping out, right? The black ones. I just saw those. Phoenix down. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Evan, eight months of sub in. Thank you so much. Using a Sarasa clip as an underlining pen in a textbook. I can't highlight it. I'm only drawing lines in three chapters. I'm almost at ink. That's a Sarasa problem for sure. Like, I, I accept the, uh, the argument for the RT1. Sarasa has some downsides. High-tech C is number one. It's number one for me. I never recommend that pen to anyone. I meant to ask you if you had a preference for any special type of wallet. Do we want to do a wallet stream real quick? I do have, I have very particular thoughts uh, of my test stream. What's the GSM for your test paper? Um, what is this bank paper? It's got to be around 70. I have, I have a bunch of different papers here. We're going to go over some papers. Um, let's do a wall Energel cleanup for the win. It's awesome pen. All right. Y'all want me to go? Y'all want to do a wallet stream real quick? It's there's two choices. Look at that 50 50 RT1 Sarasa clip. That's about it. High tech C loses me because the refill doesn't fit anything. Hence, it is the pen refill that launched a thousand Kickstarters. All right. Let me go get my wallet real quick. It's two wallets, and I'll show you why. Might you consider a pen and ink storage stream? I might, but there's only so much room I have here. We'll have to think about that. So we'll like do like pen cases. Um, all right, let me grab this. I'm not even gonna put it on the the sleep screen because it's right around the corner. All right, wallet stream. Wallet stream. Because I'm, I'm actually anxious to do this because I just bought a new wallet for the first time in probably five years. Um, I'm a front pocket wallet person. You have to know this going into it, right? So I'm only considering things that front pocket. For years, I carried this. So this is the wallet we made at Knock. Um, and it's lasted longer than any rights should have, have ever lasted. And it's still good. But I started getting, the pockets started getting a little bit loose and my cards were sliding. And this is probably after at least five years, maybe more. It does not need a wash. This is how you want it to look. You want to see. You want to see the grime. Look, I mean, every day, I would carry this wallet for what five, six years, and it's still, you know, alive and kicking. So yeah. So I uh, I replaced it recently with something similar. that someone else made. So, whoops. This is Bellroy. And this is the one that has a magnetic kind of connection here in the middle, right? So this one's just a standard flap. They're both about the same size. If I, if I loaded this one up with what's in here, this is the exact same amount of things I carry in here as I do in here. Hangry goddess, thank you for the follow. So this Bellroy one um, I got for my birthday and it kind of, it has a little bit of a snap, not much. Let me make sure I, I don't wanna show y'all things I'm, I shouldn't be showing you.
<laughs> trying to figure out the best way here. So anyway, it's set up almost identically, right? So it's got the pocket over here for the card. It's got the cash, folded cash here. And then instead of just like the one pocket here, I have the external pocket here and then an internal pocket in the back here. So this one's kind of like a double pocket thing here. So what's up, Gamma Gamma? So there you go. That's, that's your wallet stream, front pocket. Front pocket jam. That's what we do. You're married, what are you doing with cash in your wallet? I use tons of cash. Um, Cause a lot of the places my kids go, they need cash. Um, we do, we're morphing more to card um, these days using less cash. Um, but now we're into, uh, we still use a lot of cash. This is a Bellroy, I forget the name of it, but it's the one that's kind of got a little magnetic fold in it. So I, uh, I finally retired my knock, my knock wallet, but only because, um, only because I could find one that had the same setup as what we made here that I like. So, so there you go. So do you have to be mindful which way you put your cards in? No, you can just flip them around, like just switch it around. No, I mean, I don't consider which way I put the cards in. I just flipped this one around so you didn't see my driver's license information. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> what What is the material, Bellroy? I, it's leather. I don't, I don't have the exact name. I mean, isn't the magnet going to bork them over time? No, because... I don't think either of these cards, do these cards even have magnetic strips anymore? It doesn't, so somehow. somehow. Uh, why no wax canvas knock wallet? That'd be cool. I'd be down with that. Yeah, and we, we did, Jeff made one of these in the, uh, is it uh, Dyneema? That's like the, like the paper thin fabric. That's like really tough that you like, they do like the knife stabbing tests. Um, with them, Bellroy Apex Slim Sleeve is that what I have? So Jeff made this wallet, the the knock wallet. Jeff made this wallet in Dyneema for him. Like I couldn't use that. It was it's literally like folding your cards and wallet in a Kleenex, but it's extra durable. So yeah, we bought like a couple of yards of that to play with to see if we could do something with it. It was just too creepy. Uh. It was just too creepy to use unless you made like a big tote bag for it. It is an awesome fabric. It's a super high tech fabric, right? And you can get like just like basic, like basic tote bags for that or like, you know, $200 or something crazy like that. It's pretty wild. So yeah. Made a new wallet out of tie back and closed an air tag in the body. That's a good move. Dyneema would be weird for a wallet. It, it was. Jeff used it. Um, for a while, for sure. So yeah, there, uh, all right, there was wallet chat. Who knew we were going there today? <laughs> all right, next up, let's talk about this link I have on my, X-Pack would be a great wallet. That's close to the nylon that we do, right? Take this, X-Pack it, you're good to go. I would do that in a second. All right. Let's talk about this. I saw this tweet uh, right before I came online. Which Oh, um, I'm sorry. Uh, who asked the question a second ago? I was holding on. I didn't say it out loud, but I said it in my head. Who asked about the Mont Blanc inks? Where'd it go? Ryu Chris, thank you. Um, yeah, we talked about it on the podcast. Maybe we covered it a little bit here. Um, we talked about it in a recent podcast episode. What episode number is that? It was very recent. Bum, bum, bum. 
477. So we covered it here. Daring lunch meat for Matsusama. Let's go. So I will copy this in here in case you can grab it and want to hear. So yeah, we talked it there. Um, mostly I just thought it was funny. Because it's just, it's so Mont Blanc. So Mont Blanc. Um, while it's up here, I'm giving away those Vinta Neon inks that I unboxed a couple weeks ago and said I was holding for a blog giveaway. It was only a couple episodes ago, so you may not have listened to it yet. But it was it was a fun conversation. We had fun with it because it's so ridiculous. I, it's just ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I'm giving away the while we're here. Let's we'll we'll circle back to the Kaveco squirrel. I'm giving away the Venta Inks Neon Collection I unboxed here uh, not too long ago. Um, I bought these at Shigur Inks. They look pretty cool. So yeah, I'm giving away this little set. I wish I could always embiggen those pictures. All right. And today is the last day you can get in on the raffle. And I've noticed something, chat. It hit me like a ton of bricks this morning while I was doing something else. Out of all of these prizes, the field notes, the Carolina custom insert, the Canalea pin, one of my favorites, the Kasama, the Ultim, the Pinwell, the Additive, the Pintel Loot, the Blackwing series, the Sailor Ink, new Gravitas pin sets, new Gravitas pin sets, new Pinquisition pin cues and pin rests. Notice something? that I didn't put in there, chat, that I literally just remembered this morning while I'm sitting around eating breakfast. I went, <gasps> anyone, anyone know? Anyone know what's not listed? Nope, the black wing's in. So we're gonna have a full series of black wing. The Opus 88s, five Opus 88 fountain pens. So as soon as we're done here, or maybe even while we're streaming here, I'm going to go in and edit this post with the with the Opus pens. That's five more fountain pens I got to put on here. <laughs> How did I forget that? <laughs> Does the Brooks sleeve come with a pen or do you have to buy your own? Uh, the sleeve comes with it. Is that what you're asking me? Yeah, you get the sleeve and the pen. You get the icon, the insert, and the sleeve. And this nib has my face etched onto it, and I'll give the winner um, a choice of getting another nib as well if you don't want my face, my face on it. So yeah, I have the Opus 88 sitting right here. Five brand new Opus 88 fountain pens that I did not put on this list. So we're gonna have an update here. We'll have another update this afternoon when I say, oops, I forgot to put those in there. So yeah, at least we have time. We have till tonight, so. Um, this turned out awesome. I also have to do an update on how much we've raised so far. Last week, when I did the update, it was around uh, 23000 Um, So yeah, it's definitely more. So very cool. Very cool stuff. Been using fountain pens for a little while. I noticed that if I use anything other than the preppy, I get a ton of ink skipping on the page. Like it is run out of ink when it's brand new or full. Any tips? Um, like what other pen? Like what other pen, nib, ink, and paper choice? Like it's, there's kind of a lot of different things depending on the pen, um, depending on the ink, depending on the cleanliness of the pen, depending on the paper that you use. So kind of, kind of things. Hey Brad, has a package arrived for you yet or does it arrive later today? It should be later today. Thank you, Kate, though. That is awesome. Very needed. Very needed. Whew. Congrats on the amazing fundraiser. $500,000 to uh, for the kids of St. Jude so far through Relay FM. It's amazing. And St. Jude, I know Mike said this before, but St. Jude is specifically called out the pen community for banding together and doing stuff like we're doing for the Pen Attic blog, um, doing the raffle stuff. So St. Jude like really sees... The difference that it makes so it's very cool very cool all right <clears throat> so we mentioned i don't know about a month ago sometime in august 
that Kaveco was making a premium steel nib. And I'm just super confused. Hey, JD lady. Um, so Kaveco has their stock steel nib that they've always shipped in the sport series. Right. Oh, that's an accidental smiley face. <laughs> I don't they didn't mean it that way. <laughs> I see it though. Especially with the glare. Um so you have your I don't have a sport in here. I have a rollerball. So you take your 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 sport, your basic sport or your basic classic, and it's about a $25 pin, right? Just say give or take. $25 pin that includes the nib, right? So you get the pin and the nib for $25. Or you can get another steel nib that they've stamped premium on. What did I say it was? $38 just for the nib? In theory, they say it has like more tipping that they that they manage the like the the tipping size and I wonder if they put extra hands on it um just to you know give it like a feature but $38 yeah so Ryu Chris gets right to the point weird choice instead of improving their actual nibs right so would you rather pay, I don't know, they're not going to make the sport like $35 all of a sudden, it doesn't sound like. Just paying for extra baby's bottom? That's how it read when I read that press release. Do you remember that? Didn't it sound like it was just like more tipping and a new design and this premium stamping? Uh, speaking of Kaveco, we noticed the AOC showed her Kaveco sport. Yeah, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. Got a lot of tweets and uh, tweets and links for that. I thought her pin choices were fantastic. Kaveco sport, Fisher space pin, and Pilot Precise V5 in blue. So yeah, like it's super. Like maybe the premium they actually slow down and. And assure the tines were slick collectively. Someone in here has a, a has a has a slitless pin, don't a, a nib, don't they? Doesn't someone already have a Kaveco without the slit cut into it? So anyway, like when they say premium nib, it seems to be premium price. But I'm not sure we're gonna get premium features until I get one in hand. So the reason I bring this up is because Yoseka has them. And they have a writing sample here. Two extra fine nibs. Um, it looks wider on the premium nib, which should make sense given the fact that they're saying, hey, there's, there's, there's more tipping. So they're going to put a blog post out later today. We will definitely link to this. Um, or we will definitely talk about it in tomorrow's show, tomorrow's podcast. Actually, I'm going to write that down. Since we, we talked about it on there, I'm just, the one question I always ask is, what are you trying to tell me? Like when companies make a product that they already make and then do something nicer to it. Like what are you, Butterly Smooth, yeah, that was the Butterly Smooth episode. Thank you. <laughs> there you're going to make me find it so I can read that again. It got a whole, uh. Butter softly, butter softly. So I put the, uh, da, 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 da. let's see if I have this. Those who focus on writing comfort and not on the material gold can now enjoy the unique writing pleasure of a gold nib with the Kaveco Premium Steel Nib. Apart from its beautiful sun-shaped engraving, the larger iridium grain offers you perfect writing behavior. Due to the hand-finished inner edge rounding, the nib glides smoothly and butter softly over the paper. That sounds literally terrible. Like, that is not a feature. More tipping and more baby's bottom. Like Slumlord Studio says, no, I want my extra fine to be an extra fine, not a medium. 
And so it was what, 35 euros. I think we converted it to around $38 at the time. I don't, I don't know if that's correct. So yeah, and the German site, they, they're all checked by hand. So there's a lot of additional hand maintenance to it. <laughs> Pelican EF is the one true nib size for giants, I guess. I, I don't know. The shiny premium nib for a delicate writing feeling. It's like you're going to charge me 38, 40 bucks for something you should already be doing. We're getting into a weird, weird spot here. So, how are, like, I'm totally getting one, right? One. I will get an extra fine because that's what I use in my Kavecos. It's not going to go well, right? It says 44 at Yoseka. That makes sense. It's called capitalism. <laughs> I at least want my capitalism with a good story, right? You can capitalize on me if you tell me something good. <laughs> and char if you can charge me more money and tell me a good story, I'm in. If you're going to charge me more money to make my experience worse, despite the aesthetic pleasing amount, it's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem. <laughs> premium nibs are now in the same price range as almost all other standard steel nibs on the market today i don't think so like i mean maybe some maybe corporate branded company nibs but not yovos yovos are about 20 25 maybe even kaveco kaveco sells their own steel nib units they're like 16 bucks right even less than that would the extra material material theoretically allow more adjustment work to be done on it? Um, not in theory, like for factually, yeah. No, that they will definitely be a better platform for future work. But then you're, but then you're just you're just putting more money into it that you don't need to, right? Temporarily, right? What if I get a Kaveco medium nib that I turn into an architect? Why would I buy the premium as the base nib instead of the stock nib as the base nib? It's just it, like these are the things that like I I, I love talking about because I, I I don't get it I don't get it. So yeah, the loose standard nibs are twelve. They're still even cheaper than I thought. So I see in the future that you get this nib and fall in love. Like, I'm willing to, like, make statements and then be corrected. Like, once I get the product, the Karen Dash Rollerball was a pretty good one. Um, I don't know about this. Like, I like, my, I like my chances on this one, right? I like my chances with this being a why type of thing. We'll see. Uh, da, 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 da. No, we're good, Cut with Thor. I think I got. I think. I, did you just send that this morning or last night? I think I saw it this morning, and I'm gonna uh, reply and saying you're good to go. So yeah, there you go. You're gonna put it in your crazy expensive lily put. I already have the gold nib in my crazy expensive lily put. So the gold nib, I have one Kaveco gold nib that goes in the Lilliput Fire Blue or the AL Steel, depending on which one I'm using uh, at the time. So yeah, I have like a three hundred plus dollar Kaveco Lilliput setup that I can do. <laughs> Unrelated, it's thirty eight here right now. God, that's nice. Do you reply to the St Jude receipts? Heck to the no. If you sent it and heard nothing, it's normal. Yeah. There was 200 and something emails the first time I went through, like, and I'm having to manually go into each one of them, look at receipts, add them to spreadsheets. Um, I can't reply to all the emails, too. I did reply to a few of them that had questions and things like that, so. I have a Kaveco Rose Gold Nib and an Enso XS. Nice. And a stack Cobra and another. From the picture on the screen, the premium nib looks bigger. Yeah, I think it's the exact same. I mean, they're not going to change the fittings, right? So it's got to be the same size, despite, you know, maybe the image looking out of whack. Is your gold Kaveco nib any good? Yeah, it's real nice. 
what it is, it's a broad nib. Because at the time they had it, they only they they weren't able to send me extra fine. Do they even make extra fine? They sent me like a medium or a broad and a, no, a double broad. Molly, I got them. We're set. Thank you so much. So at the time in this first batch, they sent me like a broad and a double bar, broad. And I think I sent one to Anna. And then I got mine modified into a stub so I could actually use it. Aren't all Kaveco nibs broad? True. And their extra fines are good. Oh, the premium looks bigger from the line width? Yes. So that, based on the, the product release sheet, it should be bigger. The line should be wider. They're telling me, hey, we're going to give you a wider, smoother line in the same size nib is the way that reads. So there you go. That's the Kaveco nib. It's going to be interesting. And it's really, it's just a price point thing to me. Like I, like why, why, why money? Why money? Like I'm fine. I, I'm, I'm fine with paying more, but I want to know why. And I don't see it here. All right. Next up, I got an issue with my William Hanna Plana. It's a me issue. It's not a them issue. It's not a William Hanna Plana issue. I thought, chat, that as I got down to, you know, a week or two left here in the planner, we end on Friday, October the 8th. I thought I would bust out my refills. My pack of refills, 100 day pack. And get the next, you know, 30 days or so out. <laughs> Except this was the end. And I didn't make a note. <laughs> so now I'm in a rush. <laughs> to go to William Hanna and place an order to arrive by October Eighth, and for those who don't know William Hanna, I'm in the U.S. They're in the U.K. So, <laughs> so I will be as soon as we end this chat, I will go and order my next hundred days. And what I'm gonna do is email David. Yes, you order specific days, so like I can get them started. Say start on this day when you order. What I'm gonna ask for is a 365 day pack. <laughs> Let me order 2022 from the jump instead of having to make four orders throughout the year. David is so, I, he, if I order it today, I will have it by the weekend. <laughs> I like <laughs> Eric, cuz is off to ink some pens. So if you say it, what the, <laughs> If you say something after lurk, it says your name is the first word. That's pretty funny. So I'm going to ask David, hey, can I just order, can I get a 365 pack of pages? <laughs> I'll call you cuz now. Um, because I did it to myself, right? I need a note here said, on this page that says reorder next 100 days. Yeah, they ship DHL usually, so that it comes fast. So I did. The, I was going in this morning. I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna be so nice and efficient. I'm gonna pull out my old sheets. I'm gonna get ready for my new sheets. We're gonna spread them out a little bit. We will fill this back up. Let me go get my my next sheets. Whoops, there is no next sheets. So we'll see. I'm gonna go uh, do that. So. That's the short version of the story. The longer version is that I keep looking at the new planner layouts and I don't think I'm going to find anything better than this yet. I really, really want to get the Hobonichi Cousin or the Avec six-month six month deal. I just think this is still the better layout for me. Even though with the Hobonichi, you can get like the time block here, right? Time block here, then you have like a larger L shape open area. 
<clears throat> Hobonichi cuz I still think this is going to be better for me and how I how I use it. Even though I wouldn't have to buy separate 100 100 days at a time thing. So, I'm going to find that out today. Um I don't know. Like I keep thinking about maybe I should try something, but I don't think I, I don't think I have the Jibun days sitting right here. Like I can see it from where I'm sitting. I, I don't know why I'm having a, a a harder time thinking about like swapping that just because I like this I like this system so much. Like this is everything everything I need. So like this is really really working good. Teco by Tori Raid. How are y'all doing today? Hope y'all are having fun. Hope you had a good stream. So, I mean, where else can you get this level of mess in like one painter page, plage, plage, plan, plan. The take a note planners intrigued me too. I haven't looked at those. So, there you go. I just don't know that in the end, would I like a whole page Oh, excuse me, an entire 365 day book of pages. Like, am I using this enough? I think so. Like this layout works for me, right? It feels, feels good. It feels like I'm using the right kind of stuff. So I, I'm saying this out loud because I wonder if switching to a different planner would kind of ruin my mindset just for the effect of trying something new. And I mean, heck, y'all know me. I'll try something new all the time. But I feel pretty good about this setup. So I'm looking forward to seeing what Plotter has. Yeah, I'll look at their pages. Um, Where's my Plotter? I was taking pictures of my Plotter. It's in the other room. I don't have it in here right now. If that had, that would be in the same situation where you could only get X amount of pages in there at a time. And their planner pages right now are my previous preferred layout with the seven days on the left column and the blank page on the right column. So one week per two days layout where this is one page per day layout. Um, so that wouldn't work for me now. Um, it's cool though. Like, but you're not going to get a whole year in one of those covers cause they're so thin and small. And also I do like the bulk of the William Hanna, right? It just feels sturdy, feels sturdy. Toasty treat, thanks for the host. So yeah, like that's my planner situation. Like this is the time of year to be thinking about that. And I think I'm gonna stick with this, <laughs> except I almost ran myself out of pages. <laughs> Hosty treat, thank you so much. All right, let's do a giveaway, and then I'm going to do like a mini unboxing. I got something new here that I want to share with y'all, but I'm going to do a giveaway first. Let me make room here. Brad's been bought by Big Plana. Yeah, I mean, William Hanna does take care of me. I'm not going to lie. Like, like I got some stuff from William, William Hanna. Hashtag disclosure. Y'all should just assume I get everything for free. Even though that's far from true. <laughs> it just makes life easier for me so I don't have to disclose everything. <laughs> like, I can't even remember when I ordered this, did I pay for it? Because I've had it for a couple years now. And I, th I think I did. But maybe he, like, credited it back afterwards. Like, I can't keep up with this. I don't have, like, a note in here that says, Disclosure. I got this for free. <laughs> I legitimately don't recall. <laughs> Tommy, three, 13 months of seven. Thank you so much, buddy. Yeah, I need a command, a disclosure command that just says the reply is just, I got it for free. Like, I legitimately don't recall. <laughs> I assume you get stuff for free because even if you buy it, you make your income from the review associated with it. That's a weird way to put it. Um, no, I don't want to, I don't want to agree with that wording. <laughs> um, I understand what you're saying, 
but I have to be careful about like, no reviews ever no reviews are ever paid for. People send me things with no expectation of a review, but they know that I might review it. Um, does that make sense? You talk about planner layouts and William Hanna made your layout special for you. They did. And then I stopped using that layout and used one that they already had. <laughs> There's actual FCC rules about that stuff too. Yeah, like if I post something on Instagram that's like an ad type of thing, like I, I disclose it. I disclose everything on the blog. Like when I do a blog post, I disclose everything. Um, so yeah, I try to play by the rules. Like there's no sense not to. Like I, I do this all the time. So yeah, I, I'm definitely on uh, team full disclosure. Also supposed to be here on stream, but I'm not promoting anything specifically. I'm not doing a specific promotion for a thing. So right? Like I can't run every, everything I pick up and show you have a disclosure, right? So that's the way I think about it. If we did that, we'd be here all day. All right. Yeah, I, I knew what you were saying, Mafia Geek. I just wanted to be I wanted to be very careful replying to the wording of that because I do take that like very seriously. Like there's like I don't want people to think that they can send me thing and they get free reviews or that they can pay for reviews or anything like that. That's not how it works at all. <clears throat> all right, let's give something away. Most people put in their title and a sticker on the screen, ad and such. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if I was do if I had like some sponsored stream, I of course would, but I, I don't have like sponsored streams or anything like that, right? Let's give away some pinquisitions. What are these called, Evan? He sent me some extra ones uh, from his generous donation to to the uh, raffle. These are the pin QT pin rests. Full disclosure. Evan sent me these for free, and I'm going to give them away to y'all. See? Because Evan knows I'm going to be nice and, and give people stuff. So these are pen rests, right, for your desk. Boom. How cool is that? I got two of them. I got two in the giveaway. Um, excuse me, in the raffle with the, uh, with the pen cue block, like the nine pen block. These are a special golden yellow just for this month for... Um, the 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 um, color of the month of September for the raffle is gold. That's why you see the Relay FM color in gold. This gold came out really, really nice. Like, it's a really good match. And so, yeah. You added another entire in the giveaway. I've added a lot of things, and i got to go add some more things when I get done streaming today because <laughs> I forgot to put in five Opus Fountain Pens. So yeah, we're gonna give both of these away. We're not giving this away. <laughs> we're gonna give these away. <laughs> we're gonna give those away for, to y'all uh, right here on chat. So let's do it. And then we're gonna look at some new, uh, some new, uh, yeah, last update. I should have known better. Psych. Uh, where is my giveaway screen? So we're gonna give. We're gonna have two winners here. Can I pick? I can't. Yeah, I can do two winners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got to tell it to do two winners. All right, let's do this. Uh, pink UT, everyone. Ticket goes next to get pick winner. Can I not pick two winners? All right, we're just going to do one. And then if I can pick another one from that same group, I'm going to do that. So enter now, and I'm going to try to pick two winners out of the same group. So it's uh, Brad Spoke Grips. That's going to be, you're going to change that to my name. I'm going to officially change my name to Brad Spoke Grips. Um, 
Brian went under for a root canal yesterday, so we're a little we're running a little bit behind. So it's hopefully going to be this week, but it might not be till next week. So this raffle is for this giveaway is for the pin Q day Q T rests in the awesome um the awesome gold. from Pinkquisition. So we're gonna have two winners. Yeah, I cannot recommend these. No like. Oh look, after all that, I got a Kaveco pen sitting here, but it was black on black and I couldn't see it. And I think it's black on the inside, like my heart. So yeah, there you go. No premium nib in this bad boy. All right. I got them right here, Tony. They're literally sitting on the desk. I've already unboxed them because I didn't know where they were from at first. You have 30 seconds to enter. Um, yes, yeah, so I got a box from Australia. It just showed up. It's like, I don't know what this is. And then I got an email from my friends at Pebble Stationery. said, hey, we sent you some stuff. Except the stuff arrived before the email. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can pick two winners here. I'm going to pick a winner, Molly. Molly, winner number one. I know you're here. Speak up. Email me. All those things. And then I'm going to see if I can just pick another one. Put the stand. Ooh, I don't have a joker in here. That's cool. All right, there's Molly. So let me do this. And then let me see if I can pick another winner right out this same group. All right, so that's one. Okay. Um, all right, so that's done. I'm going to see if it'll let me do it again. We're going to pick a second. Well, thank you, Molly. Thank you for hanging out. All right, I'm going to try to pick another one. Glittering Glow Sense. Thank you for the follow. Kate? Yeah, it let me pick another one. I can just keep jamming the button. Kate wins. Karma. Karma dub. Thank you, Kate. Kate's sending me those notebooks I needed, the, the weird. I want to call them the utility edition, but they're not the utility edition. All right. Yeah, makes sense. I just never done it before. Um, I was hoping I could just pick another one. I should just start jamming the button. The pen addiction is real. Oh yeah, we are we are very very heavily into pens here. I need like a I need like a uh, like a like a border that's just got pens all over it or something like that. <laughs> the Quixotic Fox is the one who remembered. That's nice. Oh, uh, they were right on it too. It was like I need this. They were like, I think. Let me check. Got them. Let me confirm. Sent. That was like how our whole conversation went. It was awesome. <clears throat> All right. Pen Zoe with the gifted sub. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. There they are. <laughs> that, that, I, that was an accurate representation of our, our conversation. <laughs> I feel. I feel that was an accurate representation of our conversation. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Pebble sent me some stuff. They did. Pebble had a new release. Let me. I hadn't read this letter yet. Let's see. Ooh, okay. So got that Antarctica uh, notebooks, the small notebooks, and then they did a new collaboration here. Let's see.
Aurelius, eight months of subbing. Thank you so much, Aurelius. I'm glad my chat and alerts are now working again. Ooh, this is fancy. This Tony, it looks like you might like this. Let's do that first. So what is this? This is, all right, let me get some room here. This looks nice. This is the first kind of bound edition I've seen from them. Liberty London X Cosmo Air Light Notebook. 160 pages, made in Australia. Beautiful, beautiful cover. <laughs> I need that, need that. I have 55 days to my two year anniversary on the Hippo Noto. Oh, dang. All right, let's see. I don't think I'm gonna be able to save this packaging. We'll attempt. I might can save it. Let's see. All right. Yeah, this is fabric. It's really pretty. Love the pattern. Right. I don't. I don't know the story behind the pattern. I don't know what Liberty London is. I don't know if there's any more details. No more details on that. Um. So, bound, hard bound. Book. Cosmo Air Light. Oh, that's a cool little logo there. I can't read it. Something book binding. Blue. It almost looks like blue playbook book binding. Something like that. Oh, sorry. I don't know. What weight? Uh, 75 GSM Cosmo Air Light. All right. See you, Tony. The world needs more hardbound notebooks, especially that look like this. I think it's great. I think I'm moving more and more away from bound notebooks for some reason. I went the other way, Mafia Geek. I went from small soft cover into more dedicated hardcover. So it's got a ribbon in here somewhere. Man, this is really pretty. So like based on our conversation earlier about disclosure, like they sent me this for free, right? So like, I'll post this on Instagram and say that, you know, um, Pebble sent me this for free and then I gotta figure out what to do with it. Liberty London is a department store very popular for their cotton lawn prints. Well, let me tell you, this is stunning. Like, yeah, Sarah might need to review this, huh? Do you like the Cosmo Air Light, Sarah? And then these are these are just dope. These are sick. Yes, okay. So this Sarah's gonna review this one. I'm gonna put it over here. I want to take a picture of it though, because it's so pretty. Well, we'll just leave it here for now. Is that a weird seam or just how the print is repeating? Um there's no seam on it. It must just be the print. There's no seam on the cover. My wife has her headphones in and she's singing. Can y'all hear her? What's the downside of the cowl again? I think it's just squishy and it widens. So someone that writes an extra fine line like me, it makes your lines look like a fine line, right? It increases the line width because of, uh, I don't know, the way the, the pen goes in there. But like for Sarah, who writes in cursive, she's just gonna be able to just like burn through the whole thing. Dyer's Woe, thank you for the follow. So the other part, we can give this away. Uh, we'll give one of these away today when we're done. Cal 83 depends, what is this, 75? Had an increase and been fine. Depends on the sizing and binding, it seems. The hand oil problem is my main issue with it. It absorbs your hand oils and the ink doesn't stick in those spots. Yeah, that drives me crazy. That's why y'all really, like, these live on my desk. Just this, I bought the 10-pack of these uh, blotter pages. And I don't even care the paper now. I'm just defaulting to, this is a hand rest for me. Um, so, yeah, I, like, I think the Cosmo Air light is challenging as... 
a highly recommended paper. It's a very specific paper to recommend, right? It's That's the way I feel about it. So, like, it's fine. I just don't want all of it, right? So, all right, these... Antarctica editions come with 52 GSM Tomoe River. Hmm. Yummy. So they sent me two packs of these. We'll give one of these away to y'all momentarily. Let's take a look. Um, these are just fantastic. Their Tomoe River paper pocket notebooks are the best. Like I've done a review of these before. You can go look on the site. Um, and I was just completely impressed with their build quality um, the covers are thick enough, right? And they have the, uh, the gilding on here. Holographic, yeah, that's cool. Um, and the back, the, the map is slightly holographic, but the line's so thin, you can kind of only see the penguin as it gets in the holographic. But you can see it a little bit in the lighting I have here. Um, so yeah. And it's a dot grid 52 GSM Tomoe river paper. It's just fantastic. Like, these are the best Tomoe River pocket notebooks, in my opinion. Because the cover is so thick and durable, and obviously the paper's great, and the build's great, the stitching's great. Everything about these is really, really good. Still, <laughs> still lurking, but I, I'm with you on that. Evergreen, I'm with you on that. So, yeah, these are great. Iridescent, yeah. So, these are really great. Is this new or old Tomoe? I have no idea. I think they're on a stockpile of old would be my guess, but I would have to double check on the site. You can probably go to uh, pebblestationaryco.com and see what they list, but I'm pretty sure they're on a stockpile of old, but I could be wrong. So yeah, um, that's what we got. That's really, that's some good stuff. I like seeing this, like this is what I'm used to Pebble, Pebble doing and you know, I'm a fan. I love seeing this, love seeing this. All right, so let me put this back. That's gonna go to Sarah for review. I'm not sure this is gonna go back to how it was, but I want it to be somewhat protected. wife wants to know if we want to have a lunch date and I'm going to give her a thumbs up. All right. Let me do this and then we're going to give away one of these pocket sets here. Yeah, these are great. These are great. Um, oh, you know what, Sarah? It's probably not going to come in this because I'm going to take some pictures of it. So I'm going to have to undo it afterwards anyway. Rip. Oh, well. Oh, well. No harm, no foul. All right. It'll probably be wrapped up because I want to protect the, the fabric until it gets to you, but otherwise. All right. We're going to do this. We're going to give this away. I'm going to put this one in the ice box of happiness because I have enough of these. But we might have to like do like a – well, I'll save it for Instagram. I need a social social media manager. Anyone anyone want to be my social media manager? I'm hiring a social media manager. You have to have access to all my stuff, though. <laughs> all right. Let's go. Let's go. I'm just kidding. Don't email me about being my social media manager. Maybe. Don't got time for it all. All right, we're gonna do Pebble. Oh, there's no way I can spell Antarctica without looking. How much? I mean, it would pay. The only problem is it would be like 10 hours a week. Maybe. And you'd have to like physically be here. <laughs> like, I don't know how you would have, like I need pictures and videos and all that stuff. And like my stuff is here. 
All right, let's give away this. So this is the Antarctica edition, 52 GSM. It's two notebooks per pack, by the way. Two notebooks. Um, how many pages? 40 pages each, so 80 pages total. 52 GSM. I'm thinking original. Let me go look. Sounds like a job for your kids. They would be fired on the first day. I miss why the vac is whack. I bent. I think I bent the nib on my my gold uh, golden web. So I'm trying to sort that out. All right. Let me see. While y'all are doing that, let me look at Pebble. see if I can find the origin of the Tomoe. I'll tell the husband we're moving, right? That did not work out for me. Let's see. Notebooks. Antarctica. here I thought so but I wanted to be sure it's the old if you pay for my flights I might be able to help out it would be worth the move Brad is the best boss I appreciate that no I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to find someone to help me though locally or at least my wife keeps telling me I am So yeah, I think they're on a bit of a, um, I think they're on a bit of the uh, stockpile for old, but I, who you never know how long that stuff's gonna last, right? <clears throat> oh, Boss Baker, Chris, right past the line, rip. All right, really displeased with these sticky notes. We gotta go sticky note shopping again, chat. We've been putting washi tape on the sticky note. All right. <clears throat> Let me pick a winner. Rory Hawk. Rory Hawk. I think you've won. Have you won once before? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It could be delusional. Sweet. So email me your shipping address to hello at penaddict.com. I will get this out to you. What day is today? Tuesday? Probably Thursday. I think we're going to ship do shipping on Thursday this week. I think we're going to move to Monday and Thursday shippings. I've been doing Sundays and Wednesdays or Sundays and Thursdays. I think I'm going to try to stop working as much on the weekends. I got to get I got to get some stuff in order here. I got some stuff to get in order on the home front chat on the work on the work home front time for TR sticky notes. Yeah, I don't know if that would work. I don't know how to get those all weather notes. Yeah, Mike's experiment is dope. But I want some smaller ones. Those don't look big. All right. So we have a look at this. All the little giveaways. All there with Susan's washi tape. Sold a bunch of Shiba Retro 51s. Did Susan Did Susan talk about them on stream recently? I sold like a bunch of those. See you, Evan. Hey, thanks for the goodies, Evan. This stuff's really cool. I still have mine sitting right here. I feel like I'm, I'm the Riddler. Every time I see that, I think I'm the Riddler. All right, let's set those right here. All right. Let's see. Was that the list? I think that was most of the list today. Chat. I think that was most of the list. Hey, and congratulations on your Retro 51. I hope it's going well. It's really extremely well done. I thought y'all did a great job with that. 
put that posted up on 7-4-2018. It's still out there. That is dope. I am inordinately excited about that. Oh, where is my smushed ink? Does this make y'all mad? This makes me mad. Right? I should be mad about that, right? I should be mad about that smudge. Yeah, I should be mad about that smudge. <laughs> Mike, we need to do some game streams. I've been wanting to play some games online recently. I know we've talked about it plenty of times in the past. All right, we need to do that. I've been thinking about that recently. Um, member chips, I gotta do, maybe we'll do that tomorrow or Thursday. Um, I gotta get those Opus up. Opus added to the um, giveaway as soon as we're done here podcast tomorrow chat mike is back mike is back on the podcast mike hurley um we'll, we'll be talking about the scribble pen um video which is amazing which we watched last week what ink was that pen addict it is the one I gave away last week or two weeks ago. It was one of the new Kalas. It's not the ink that's the problem. It's the room humidity. Because this I've used the, I've been using this ink in this pen for like a week or more. Um and have not seen this. So new retro comes out at new today. Mike, Mike Hurley. Yes, Mike Hurley. Um, we're going to talk about that. We have a bunch of STPAs. Anything else? Anything else we need to cover? I added the Caveco nib. We're going to talk about that. Pin and pad from Albuquerque. Did I miss something? I don't even know what you're talking about. Would you show us your audio setup for Twitch? Um, I don't really have an audio setup. I just have a microphone. on an arm I just lifted. I don't have it going through a mixer or anything. Just USB mic. It's the Elgato one. I traded out my yeah, my Yeti for this one. I don't my stream like technical parts of my stream are not fancy. Um except my my desk cam is fancy. My desk cam is fancy. Um but you can't really see it today because it just like there's nothing really fancy to show you. What are you gonna see? My hand on a mouse and a keyboard on the edge on a spand. But my desk camera is nice. This camera, my face camera, is a regular webcam. My mic is a USB mic. I don't have an amp or equalizer or anything. The desk cam is fancy. I'm down with that. <clears throat> Very happy with the desk cam because when you do the desk cam, even though you have. Do you like the Elgato better than the Yeti? Yes. It sounds better. For sure. And I can uh, I can still like talk and not have to talk like directly into it. But like you get the the fancy desk cam so you can show like the up closes of the pins if you don't have too much crap in the background. I don't have too much crap in the background right now. So Normally, it would be dope. Yeah, I do do the influencer hands. Do you have an amp EQ compressor for the podcast? Yes. So the podcast audio setup is different. I have a very specific microphone and I have an amp. I run that through um, for the podcast. Yeah, the podcast setup, podcast audio setup is completely different than this setup. I actually physically relocate my podcast audio, I'm staring at it across the room. I physically pick up my mic, my boom arm, my amp and my headphones and set them here to record the show. Yep. So I can get you those specs. And this is stuff I've had for years that Mike got me back in the day, probably like four or five years ago. It's a sure 52A. I don't I might get the number wrong. And then uh, the Tascam US 2x2 amp. And those have just been rock solid but the microphone is one of those microphones you have to like talk like directly straight into like 
when I when I podcast, I I touch I touch the um the pop filter pretty much. SM fifty eight A maybe. You can show me a link. I can see it. So yeah, that was uh, per Mike, per Mike uh, purchasing it for me, saying this is what you need. And he used that setup f for a while too. He now has a fancier mic, but I don't need a fancier mic. Like for what we do, for like my you know hour hour and a half a week with him, like that setup's good enough. But Mike has a, a different audio thing. Yeah, because Mike is crazy about the audio. It's very very crazy. My friends already have nice mics. I was going to use software for EQ compression. I have a good enough amp. Yeah, then you should be good. You should be good. But what I, I don't know enough about the microphone technology, but that sure is one like you have to be like directly centered. Like if I'm talking to Mike and I do this, he yells at me. Like he can tell. Like if I'm talking and I reach for this pen and I start talking like this, it's insta bad <laughs> he yells at me <laughs> all right is that it let's see that looks like it i don't think i don't think that's it though let me check maybe that's it I could go get it. If you want to know, Tommy, I'll let you know. I'll I'll go. I'll figure it out and I'll send it to you in Slack. SMB seven. No, I know it's a fifty something. It's a fifty something beta beta fifty something, but I just don't know which the model is. Damn it! I'm gonna go look now. Chair stream. It's the Beta 58A. Beta 58A. Is that on there? Yeah, so that's in there. <clears throat> so that's the one Mike bought for me to use. And like I said, I've, I've had this for, what, four or five years now, at least. So, there you go. And then the Tascam, whoops. So it's that mic, but like that mic would not work for this. And then... And then that, that for the amp, for the preamp. And that's it. Then Mike does, this model has been discontinued. Yeah, like I said, this stuff is like five years old, at least. Maybe more than that, honestly. So yeah, there you go. Audio stuff. Like, one of the things, like, I could get into more, like, here on stream would be, like, into that audio video stuff, so. Um. So maybe we'll work on that. Maybe me and Mike need to play games sometimes. I've been really wanting to play games on stream. I've been really wanting to stream more, chat. I'm going to try to make that happen. More schedule stuff, more planning stuff, more figuring out stuff. So, because I, I enjoy it. What do you want to play? I don't know. That Viking game you had the other day looked pretty dope. All right, so let's wrap it up today. What are we gonna do? We need to we need to raid. What will he say? Simarchy. Who are we gonna raid today, chat? Little Isay. She always freaks out when I stream her. <laughs> I mean, when I raid her, <laughs> it's funny. 
<laughs> oh yeah, she's opening a bunch of. Let's go raid a little Issei. She's a trip. All right, y'all are awesome. Thank y'all for hanging out. We'll be back tomorrow. We're gonna podcast tomorrow. Um, 10 a.m. Mike with a Y is back. We're gonna stream after that, and then we're gonna stream Thursday. We'll figure out something to do on Thursday. My plans. Got to work on the plans. Thank y'all for hanging out. Let's go. Uh, let's go look at all this unboxing stuff. This looks really cool. Over there on Stationary Brew member. All right. Y'all have a great day. Give me a shout if you need anything. And we have an email into AOC. Let's see if she responds. She will.